We're in the middle of tornado season, even though it's been relatively quiet in places that usually see a lot of action, like Tornado Alley in Oklahoma. Meteorologist Melissa Nord is here to explain how a tornado forms in the first place. Springtime can often mean severe weather and it can also mean tornadoes. So breaking down the science behind tornado formation, it all starts with the number one ingredient, something called wind shear or a natural spin in the atmosphere. Over to my side, you see this plot of land with winds at the surface flowing from right to left, but just 3000 feet up, we have winds moving in a completely different direction. That creates wind shear or a natural spin in the atmosphere. That's initially moving in the horizontal direction, but as a thunderstorm with a powerful updraft is coming through, that can rotate that spin into the vertical, leading to a rotating thunderstorm. Rotating thunderstorms can easily spawn tornadoes, and tornado wind gusts can range anywhere from 65 miles per hour to an excess of 200 miles per hour in EF5 tornadoes. They'll pick up debris in their path, loft it into the air as projectiles, send it flying in every which way direction. That's why it's important whenever you're in a tornado warning that you seek shelter inside the lowest level of your house and away from windows and doors. Explaining the science behind the weather, I'm meteorologist Melissa Nord. Back to you.